friends, I am Dr. Priyankur Roy, Consultant, Reproductive Medicine and Surgery, Genome the Fertility Center, Siliguri. Today we are here to discuss about evaluation of infertile couple. I would rather say subfertile couple because nowadays the term infertility is no longer used and it is rather subfertility. So you guys must all be knowing by now that infertility or subfertility is basically after having unprotected sex for one year if a couple does not conceive then it is known as subfertility. So evaluation basically consists of few important but easy steps. So once you visit a sub, uh, infertility clinic, the doctors over there will definitely counsel you for the same and this infertility counselling or evaluation is the same for basically for all the centres and all the doctors and all the couples who suffer from this condition or infertility usually need to go through this easy test. This is a very simple 3D model of the female reproductive tract. If you can see over here, this portion is called the vagina. This is the uterine cavity, the fallopian tubes on the both sides and the ovary that you can see on both sides. So after sexual contact what happens is the semen is deposited in the vagina, the sperm from that goes into the uterine cavity and comes out through the fallopian tubes. From the ovaries which has eggs, the egg that gets ruptured in that cycle comes and enters into the fimbrial end of the fallopian tube. and it gets uh, fertilized over here in the fallopian tube and finally the implantation in the uterine cavity. So basically you must have understood by now the physiology of the reproductive system and uh, now the important tests that we need to get done for the same are number one the fluid that is dropped here the semen so uh, he, HSA which is a very important test which tells us about the semen quality, the morphology and also about the motility of the sperms in it. Second, the fallopian tubes because the opening of the fallopian tubes is very very important. If the fallopian tubes are closed or is obstructed or blocked then the passage of the sperm and the embryo will not happen and conception will not happen. And the third important thing is the ovaries that the number of eggs in the ovaries which can be tested by radiologically as well as by a blood test. Yeah, so the radiological and the blood test that we were talking about, radiologically we can do something called an AFC or an antral follicular count which, is, which will give us the total number of eggs that is present at that point of time in the ovaries and second we can do something in the blood that is called an AMH or an anti-mullerian hormone. So this anti-mullerian hormone tells us the approximate number of eggs that is present in the ovaries. So this and AMH varies from age to age. Friends, I would like to tell you one very important thing that there are couples who get evaluated and then after the evaluation they wait at home for another 2-3 to three years thinking that they will get pregnant. Eggs are very precious and cannot be obtained once they get over. So it's very very important that once you have time, please to visit an infertility clinic or a doctor, a fertility doctor specialist who will guide you and who will tell you how further you should proceed into the tests, evaluation and further on the treatment. Evaluation wise, the number of uh, incidence of male subfertility or infertility has really increased nowadays and we see a number of cases or a number of patients or with azoospermia that is absence of sperm in the seminal fluid. It is not something to get worried about because we have treatment for the same. In case we have a patient with azoospermia where the sperm count is negative or zero, then we can do a test which is called a FSH or a follicular stimulating hormone for the husband, which will in turn tell us whether eggs with the sperm is being produced in the um, in the body or it's not produced. If the FSH is within normal limits, that means that it's something called an obstructive azoospermia, and we can get the sperm from that same patient by inserting a needle into the testis. So friends, my suggestion would be do not waste time at home, visit a reputed clinic and I am sure you will have a happy family, a happy couple with a happy baby. Thanks for watching this video.